one of the sort of most favored ways of working is to use the resampling technique. So I'm going to create a new track and I'm going to set this here to resampling. And basically anything that's playing from Ableton, regardless of if it's soloed or whatever, will come through here. So if I press this, you can see the little meters show up here. These little meters. Okay. And that's showing that it's getting an input. So everything that's playing from Ableton goes in there, which means you can, if I copy this, for instance, because I want to actually use this as the sort of effects vocal like that, effects box, and then I can just mute this one. That means that I'm not going to mess with this. This is always going to be left as it is. I want to leave that as it is. This is my sort of messing with vocal channel here. So I've called it effects box. On here, I can put things like, um, I'm just going to get rid of this rack. I'm going to put a delay and let's set that up. Um, and then we can use something like a, maybe a beat repeat as well, which is always fun to try. And then on here, we can try out these little micro fills, which is cool. And then we can check out what this does. Let's do a ping pong on that, on the delay there. Uh, and then we're going to record it. Cool. And then I can just make sure that I solo it first and then hit record. And then just take a listen to what we've got. Super cool. Now I've printed, which means recorded that whole performance there, which means I could go and do another one if I wanted to as well. I can simply just change whatever effects I've got on here or just change the delay. Um, we could make, I'll keep that there. We could use things like obvious things like reverbs seem to work really well for this. I'll just use the normal Ableton reverb and let's just see what we get. And we can also change the the beat repeat to like vocal fun, for instance. See what I did there, it's called hot swapping, which is to click that that little icon there, it means that I can then go and try, try out the different um, presets. Cool, so then we can just take a listen to what we get. Let's make a longer decay, so you'll get this reverb Cool. So you get some cool little textures out of that. Let's record that. And you could go on forever, of course, of which we're not going to do here. So this is our resample channel. I'm going to create, oh, actually duplicate that one because I've got two separate performances. So I'll keep that one there and the other one there. And now what I want to do here is then I've got the option of going in here and then just put my original vocal back on, take the effects box off. And let's take a listen to what we've got in here. We can sort of cut out pieces and reverse it, do all sorts of stuff. That's really nice. I'll cut that. So Command E. Don't want that one, so. 
Cool, I like that, that's, that's really nice. So again, if I hit the A button on my keyboard, I'll get rid of the automation and then I can do some fades. Let's try reversing that. Hit the R, it'll reverse. And then you can go like this. Nah, not so cool. Let's leave it as it was, that was nice. Seems to work nicely at the end with you when there's a gap of vocal. Cool, I like that a lot. What does that sound like reversed? Weird, let's leave it as it was. I like it. You know what you could do is you could just basically use a fade like that. And so it sort of fades up towards the break. You get this extra texture coming underneath the vocal. Stop. Chemistry was crazy from the get go. Cool. So you get the idea, you can now go in and sort of start manipulating these resample vocals. You can go on forever with these and creating cool little textures.